the first couple days will be non-padded practices for us, but it's good to kind of get, get the process started. We have a lot of position battles. We need to look at a lot of different guys at different positions and uh, just taking another step in our program. You know, a couple years ago we started 15 freshmen. And those guys now run our team, the juniors, run the locker room, and that's a good thing for Illinois football. But good start. Uh, we got a long ways to go. You don't get, except for getting the first practice under our belt. Uh, can't wait for us to get back on the field tomorrow. And of course, uh, this weekend, Friday will be our first day in pass. Really looking forward to that. Looking forward to uh, the Illinois, you know, coaches, high school coaches coming here for their their clinic uh, this weekend in Champaign. So a lot of good things happening here this week. Is spring ball more about fundamentals? Is it about uh, establishing schemes and plays and all that? Both? It's about uh, all of the uh, No doubt uh, it's about you know what we're going to do schem schematically. But yes, yeah, technique, individual improvement, each player. That's what you're trying to do, improve each player. We have a lot of young players that haven't gone through spring ball. They had to play last year. All season have an awful lot, but this next phase of all season program with spring ball is pretty important. How will your time in practice be different uh, now that you're the defensive coordinator? I suppose you were doing that already in the fall. Well, defensive coordinator, per se, I'm the head coach that, you know, is involved with the defense a little bit more. I mean, you'll see me doing some drills a little bit more, maybe, but I've always been doing drills on the defensive side of the football. Um, on my role will change to be more game day a little bit more. We have excellent coaches that know exactly what we want to do. Uh, we'll be doing most of that. You'll see me uh, adding a little bit when I can. You know, you mentioned the, the drills. It did seem like you had a little bit more of a hands-on approach today, you know, taking part in a lot of those. Is that something that, that you kind of wanted to do uh, at the start of practice here? Yeah, you guys haven't been watching me throughout. been here three years. I've been doing drills all along. Um, try to at least when they'll let me, the assistant coaches let me, you know, be involved a little bit. But as a head football coach, I've always been involved. I like the coaching part. I don't think it has to stop when you become the head football coach. So loved it today and we'll continue to do it. Well, be a little bit of a different quarterback room this spring. There's more scholarship guys. What are you looking for in those guys coming out of this spring? You say quarter? Quarter. Yes. I was thinking corner too. Um, it does help. You know, we have more experience back there. You know, we have some guys that, that you know, are going through some things for the first time, but uh, have played a little bit of football. It's about competition, and the more guys you can get that truly have a chance to compete has to make the room that much better. How our season goes, of course, a lot of it starts with the quarterback room. And uh, we have some guys, again, as I said, MJ Rivers, Matt Robinson, Karan Taylor, that all feel like, uh, that they can be the quarterback for the University of Illinois, and we're going to give them all the chance to prove. Coach, where are you in the process with Luke Ford and the NCAA trying to get him eligible? You say, where are we in the process? Well, I mean, the process is always ongoing. Um, eventually, I'll just say the process is on, ongoing. I think we're all kind of paying attention to what's happening in college football as far as transfers are concerned. Uh, you know, I think we have a pretty good case for Luke, of course. There's some reasons why he chose to come back, and, uh, but that'll all play out in time. Jamal Woods coming back from that injury, how important was it to get him back for spring ball? Very important. Uh, you know every defense really starts up front. Of course, J Jamal Milan is healthy as a you know, he's up there with the, you know, as you talk about some of the better defensive linemen around, uh, and he is healthy now, but that'll help a lot. But those are Jamal. Jamal Woods, too. It hurt when he went out last year. Bobby Roundtree has played outstanding football for a long period of time. Larry Oladipo. Uh, I, you know, we can go on and on a little bit. You know, we have three highly recruited freshmen coming in on defensive line. So Coach Clark has a lot of things to work with right now. Coach, did you get a chance to watch much of Luke Ford today, or were you too busy with your other stuff? Well, no. I mean, and you know, with spring football, besides some of the individual drills, we get a chance to see them most of the time. Okay. You know, offensive, defenses, you know, they're together most of the time. I've seen Luke working all season. He's as good as advertised, I believe. But it was good 
good step for him to get back on the practice football field. Uh, we have a lot, of course, big plans for him. Were you guys at the process of working hard your way? Yeah, I, I was a little uh, early. We talked a little bit about it, and the process is ongoing. Um, we think we have a pretty good shot. There's a reason why we feel that way. Um, there's a reason why Luke came back, not just to play football here, but there's some family things. And uh, we'll present all of that, and hopefully we'll get good news. He was close to coming there in the first place, wasn't he? And how much easier would that have been? Well, you know, I have a short memory. I'm 60 now. I have a short memory. Uh, we knew him when he was in high school. Sure. He was a player there. All the good high school players in the state of Illinois, we try to recruit. Some we don't get first time around. And if we have a good relationship with them, uh, maybe the second go around, we'll have an opportunity. But we're not going to deal our program on that. Right. Uh, our program's going to be built on guys wanting to come here the first time around. But sometimes, special cases, bring some of our, our better players back. You guys from Illinois, especially, I would think you I mean, that's even bigger for you, right? Yeah, it, it's big. I mean, of course, we, we start our recruiting in our state, the home state. As we were talking earlier, you know, high school coaches right. uh, convention clinic is here this weekend. That's big. We have great football in the state, yes. As many of our better football, best football players in our state, we would like to keep here. Absolutely. Coach Owen Carney is out today. Any status update with him? Uh, he's injured right now. Uh, you know, spring ball, we don't talk a whole lot about him. But uh, we, we saw some guys in green jerseys out there that have an injury. Uh, but nobody has a career-ending injury or anything like that. Eventually, we'll have everybody back out there. How's Milo looked? <laughs> Milo. I mean, that, that name kind of threw me off. <laughs> uh, Milo. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah. Threw me off. He won't want you to call him that. <laughs> no, he's a, uh, you know, we've been waiting for him for a while. He's a good football player, athletically. He checks off all of the boxes. Uh, but, again, it's first time in a long time. He's legitimately out there competing, you know, for time, and uh, we'll give him an opportunity. Coach, what seems out of bed? Okay, I lost Richard. Cool. Okay, stands, I lose what, mine. What stands, I lose mine a lot of What stands out the most about Richie Pettibon? You know, I'm anxious to see the video. You know, as a lineman today, you know, first practice, non-padded practice, I just know that Richie showed up. He's been everything we wanted him to be off the field, all-season workout. He's a smart player. Uh, his play has been on teams, championship teams. He's bringing a lot to our, our, our ball club. Today, can't see an awful lot from the lineman. Can't wait to get to uh, Friday. We'll see a little bit more. Virtus was one of the top recruits you've got here. Yeah. And to have him actually playing this spring of last year to watch. What have you seen from him? He has been impressive throughout uh, all season workout, uh, which have primarily been you know agility type drills. You look at him; he's a physical presence. Uh, he's been great. Uh, you think he's going to help us some kind of way? Uh, we keep a lot of these young players. We keep talking about Calvin Avery. You know, Calvin played for us last year. We need an offseason. He's had that. Just really looking forward to those guys, those D linemen. We talk about a lot of our D linemen taking a step forward. That's why we're so pumped up around here. About we played about as bad defense as you could play in college football last year. And guys realize that we we bring that up daily. We're, we're embracing what happened last year to make us better. A lot of these guys you're talking about to help us do it. There's a lot of numbers here compared to the last couple of springs. What's that mean for you? It means great competition. We're at least two deep, and maybe three deep at some positions. Uh, you'll need them. You just look at our history with injuries, guys go down. And you, the drop off has been, we have had too big a drop off with injuries around here. Now we're getting to a point where that depth can really help us you know, go through some of those times.